Hello everyone, the cloud marketplace is massive, growing sharply. This makes cloud computing the most fast moving tech sector with the workforce in cloud professional being in high demand. There are currently not a huge skill gap in the cloud computing, meaning there are more job openings than the qualified engineers to fill the position. But the cloud skill shortage and the unemployed swarm of the certified engineers puzzled everyone. But this might be you no know, due to that most of the people are jumping straight you know, into the cloud certification without great foundation or layout. Please, not that. So, mostly when you just start cloud certification, you have great knowledge of responsibility in the cloud using the latest models and less or no knowledge of the responsibility of the cloud or a backbone behind cloud. Also, 60% of the interview focuses on the knowledge of the cloud, which almost people who jumped straight Straight into the cloud certification let that knowledge and it will be difficult to secure the first job in cloud so in this video i will share with you the best way to break you know into cloud engineering career and secure a cloud position that i used five years ago and worked well sharing with you how to navigate on two main tiers time frame to learn each of the stream hardcore skills you need to master and lastly the main objectives behind each of the tiers let's start with the first tier the entry level stream so which is the one you use you know to break into cloud engineering career so while starting you know to build your career in cloud the main goal here is to focus on the two main fundamentals pillars of the network and the systems engineering in a structured fashion before you know diving deep into the world of cloud engineering technical hard skills so in the first entry level stream regarding network engineering i would suggest you know to follow the network plus syllabus which is vendor neutral certification and allows you know to learn why we need networks and how they they look and how they work so, so learn how to design to deploy and to maintain a network running under linux you know at network services and sql configured you know the network interfaces but you know, make sure that you are to master the section on tcp utp ports protocols routing and switching and ip addressing but come to you know covers a lot you know from the network implementations you know operating security and troubleshooting so also Know that the CAMTIA Network Plus has been updated and reorganized to address the current networking technologies with expanded coverage you know, of several domains by adding key cloud computing uh, best practices and typical services uh, models, you know, coverage of the newer hardware and the visualization you know, techniques which will provide you with solid you know, foundation uh, on the basics of cloud engineering. So keep it in mind, you know, so after done uh, with this, I do expect you, you know, to explain exactly what happens when you type a URL in the browser explain you know the basic network concepts and you know including like network services physical connections topologies and architecture and cloud connectivity the basics of systems engineering then you take the next step you know on top of the technical hardcore skills which is systems engineering roadmap and construct you know the foundation to understand and do the basic tasks on the widely used operating system which is linux so my advice here you know is to start with linux professional institute certification as is the world knows first and the largest vendor neutral linux certification also is the global certification standard and a career support organization you know for open source professionals so the course will teach you know how to administrate a configure you know upgrade linux systems basic concept of the hardware the processes in raw programs and the components of the linux operating system which save you know as the foundation of the modern cloud infrastructure so how to navigate on the command line system security users groups file permissions for public and private directories you know, you know how to create and execute a simple script so this is the great about it so make sure you are very comfortable with uh, the basic command line uh, permissions promises and resource health check and boot processes logging in and package management by this time you should be able to answer any question on the top 70 linux commands uh, and speak to you know to the basics of the routing understand how we subnet or supernet and grab you know the, the mac and draw a very basic network with its dhcp dns web servers designed for small 
enterprise with fewer than 200 employees. A suggested window for this, six solid months, around five hours a day, but it depends widely from one person uh, to another. Cloud engineering. Now we have the foundation. It's best time you know, to kickstart the journey of cloud certification by selecting any cloud vendor such as Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and Citra and Citra. So all you have certification programs to teach you know the knowledge and the skills needed for a multiple of public cloud technologies. So they all have detailed exam objectives, books, and videos that will prepare you to truly earn your first associate certification in the cloud engineering. Get your hands dirty on experience. Nothing beats practical experiences, you know, you know. So if you're just beginning to explore your options, make sure you sign up like for a free account with a cloud provider and experiment, you know, and to get solid grasp of the technology. So if you're already working in the IT field, see if you can get involved in more cloud-based projects to have your existing cloud computing skills and to develop new ones as well. Also, please note that we are now in the app-driven world, containers and uh, microservices, the perfect solution for an application as a containers bundle and application with all its dependencies and deploy it uh, in on the platform of our choice. So try also to charge you know, the fundamentals of containers technologies like Docker and container orchestration uh, mostly like Kubernetes, you know, which is widely used. Also, while studying cloud certification, the cloud engineer position is divided, you know, into multiple roles. So each of these job positions focuses on a particular type of cloud computing rather than uh, the technology as a whole. So know what you want. The main objectives are for the first tier entry level stream. You can secure a junior level interviews for entry level cloud engineering position you should also be able you know to perform successful in the real world environment without constant supervision you know which is something great with clear high level guidance and architecture from a senior position you can also questions broaden you know the scope of your job search to entry level network and systems engineering position Second tier mid-level stream. So for advancing in cloud, um, now that you are done with associate cloud certification, it's time to move on to cloud professional certification uh, according to the cloud career path you are niching on. So while advancing in cloud engineering, it's great time you know to start to learn coding and scripting for automation, and also it helps you know to understand the developers' world better, you know, and troubleshoot and collaborate better in the DevOps movement. To do that, you need to know how typical development process works. So by learning coding, my suggestion is also is to pick a programming language such as Python alongside with bus scripting. As you know, in today's world, we're treating everything as a code, even though there are enough tools in order to automate everything you might need to customize functionality that a tool might not offer you you know so then while learning coding also master source control version control by learning git or gitlab then you need to understand the ci and cd process so i encourage you to start with jenkins for provisioning infrastructure as a code in the cloud, uh, start to learn Terraform, which is the best tool for building and changing and versioning infrastructure safely and efficiently on multi-cloud. Then spice up, you know, with Ansible for configuration management for the infrastructure that you have uh, constructed using uh, the Terraform. More than, more important, uh, container orchestration using Kubernetes and Docker container runtime engine. Learn how to install and to configure a production grade, you know, Kubernetes cluster from the network configuration to upgrades to making deployments available so it'll be easy you know uh, to better working on the ck certification is it is a practical with performance based tests you know that require solving multiple issues from uh, the command line so after you master kubernetes it's great you know to understand monitoring alerting and observability you know for microservices by learning you know uh, elastic sage prometheus you know grafana so Last but not least, start to learn system design, which is the process of designing and the architecture components and the interfaces for a system so that it meets, you know, the end user's requirements, you know, but this subject, you know, is endless. You can finish the whole time of your career learning it you know and me i'm still also learning it so the main objectives of the second tier mid-level stream so you can win mid-level interviews for cloud engineering position you should also be able you know to perform successfully in the real world and complex you know environment with minimum supervision 
with clear guidance on critical tasks and designs in the platform. So, final tips that I have for you. Number one, build your portfolio. Two, gather good references. Three, network. Thank you so much for watching this video up to this end. As always, keep on skiing in the tech world.